I'd like to take this opportunity today to welcome the participation, active participation of Dr. Fawzi Abdurrahman, a mining engineer by training, but uh, uh, a very prominent uh, Pahang AMNO leader, head of Pan Kwantan AMNO Division, Deputy Minister, and um, activist in AMNO for generations. And also, as we know, a, a, a family and son of a great Malay nationalist, uh, the former Education Minister Abdul Rahman Talib, and, uh, known, of course, for the Rahman uh, Talib Report, 1961 Education Report. Now, um, he has uh, decided uh, to join uh, Atika Adelan and support uh, our reform agenda in Pakatan Raya. And his presence uh, will, be, will give a phenomenal boost to our work, uh, particularly in Pahang, but generally also in Malaysia. And I'm, I'm happy that uh, his uh, decision is welcomed by, uh, firstly, the Pahang state leaders, uh, Zakaria Sia and uh, MPs uh, from Paham. And uh, I would uh, move on from there in case uh, you have questions uh, uh, to me or to him. And uh, then we'll move on if you have other questions. Uh, just for your information, yesterday we had a meeting, a uh, briefing for ambassadors and councillors uh, representing 38 uh, countries. Here, uh, just an update on the general issues, economic, political, and also relating to the case that they were curious uh, to ask. And uh, today, this afternoon, I had a um, session with uh, 100 young Malaysian entrepreneurs. Uh, both these sessions uh, were held in private, uh, knowing the and you have spent if it is made known to early. Thank you. Other swala? Other questions? Yes. Did you see the proposal is very unknown because it's your friend or because he left unknown? When was it? Your question is he joined unknown, you know, he left unknown. Goodbye. It's a sinking ship. So your question? So, uh, he left Amno to join India because of your friendship or because he believes in the parties that uh, I don't I left uh, politics five years ago but on the rest. But after seeing uh, events uh, lately in uh, our Malaysian scenario, I think uh, uh, some people take for granted that they can fool all the people at all times. I think uh, it's time that uh, Malaysians wake up and uh, form a, two, a really uh, tangible two-party system, you know, where the rakyat, Barisan may lose, Amno may lose, but the loss of Barisan is rakyat's gain. So I thought I wanted to be part of it, number one. Number two, um, I have uh, rested too long after seeing the events that happened to Anwar, uh, who happened to be my friend. It can be any friend. It can be a uh, road sweeper who is my friend, being treated in the manner he was treated. I think this most unbecoming. And I think to be fair to Malaysians, Malaysians have to stand up and say that this is not a police state. If we condone, we allow this, believe me, that one day when our children makes a police report on the misdemeanor of a policeman, our children, our grandchildren will be one up, will be whack, will be made to uh, to admit the wrong that they didn't do. That's why I thought uh, uh, I want to be part of that uh, reformation of a Malaysian society. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Uh, but before, before I go on, I must apologize to those in front, you know, because some of you were <coughs> trying to look at me. It's not that I'm shocked, but these are all very tall. You know? <laughs> and secondly, uh, Anwar has um, spoken, uh, uh, Anwar's uh, compliments on me make me look very tall for my good Thank you. Uh, like a person, but in 1998, when Dr. Sri Anu was sacked from the party, you, you, remain, you chose to remain with Amno, and only now you've chosen to Jawatan in Amno, you know? No, I was, I was a deputy minister then. I was once called up by uh, the then Prime Minister, Dr. Mahathir Muhammad. He wanted me to say that uh, uh, I believe that Anwar was a sort of it. And I think amongst the ministers, the deputy ministers and parliament, parliamentary secretaries, I was one, the only one, the odd one odd, the one, the odd one <coughs> that said that I cannot, I, I won't do it. And for that, uh, as you all knew, you know, had I said I, I agreed with mother, I think I might be a minister until today. <coughs> So I don't want to tell you about my, my sacrifice. I thought uh, uh, my sacrifice, uh, the little that, that we fell on me is nothing that has happened to Anwar, comparatively. So, you know, may I add to that? Because uh, I and my family were clearly aware of the position taken uh, by Jose at that time. And uh, I was informed at the time when I was in jail that he was asked by the then Prime Minister to uh, implicate in this, uh, himself or in this malicious, uh, scurrilous attack on my character. He refused, he vouched uh, for my character. He was a friend, a school friend from those days, and uh, he defended me as well to that. In fact, all Amno Division were, were asked to organize uh, sessions to condemn me. He organized a session. He refused to come in. But I think uh, that explanation will suffice. Thank you. Okay, you ask yourself the question, deep inside you, your own conscience. You ask yourself, is it fair or not fair? You don't answer. You don't answer. You ask yourself, deep inside you, I know you have some intellect. Ask yourself and tell your answer is within you. You do it.